guys, this is Par here, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. We are about to start episode 6, A Portal to Mystery, and uh, yes, this is going to be uh, this is gonna be cool. I kind of know roughly what's going on in this one, but I haven't watched it all. I watched the, I probably watched like the first video of a few uh, big YouTubers, um, because it obviously uh, features some famous people, but I'm not going to reveal it just in case you haven't seen this before. If you do know, then you know what's coming up. <laughs> but uh, yes, so anyone who doesn't know, this could, could be a surprise. Some uh, some famous names about to appear. So uh, let's not ramble on anymore. Let us start episode six. So here we go. And uh, let's see if we see a previously on. Maybe previously not too sure. On Minecraft story. Yes, we do. <laughs> that glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. So, we have made it to this giant corridor full of different portals that the uh, diamond flint of steel has taken us there and we've obviously gone through one another one and uh, yes we've arrived at some strange weird graveyard with a zombie in the background and some bats <laughs> so yeah like I say I've seen the kind of beginning of this uh, in videos but I kind of don't know how the whole thing plays out completely so yeah. Okay guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh -huh. Is that says two moons. Not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. <laughs> This will be no problem. Sounds like an adventure. Stop goofing around. Uh sounds like an adventure. Oh come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is going to be awesome. I hope you're right. <laughs> I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they followed us. The uh, they can harm themselves. That is more uh... than we started with. No, I don't think they would have followed us. They had a lot going on in town. We'll get home and they'll be super not too sure jealous. Well, actually, yeah, I'm a bit. Uh, hmm. Not well, actually too sure. I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold? Who knows? Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It looked like a floating book. So let's go on a on a tomb. Hmm. On a no, investigate the tomb. <laughs> Looks like it's on a tomb though, or something like that. So right, let's uh, let's take this book. It says invitation, and then read immediately. Your life depends on it. <laughs> <coughs> Greetings, traveler. Yep, Whoa, zombies! Right. Keep reading, Jesse. Got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Toss it here! Right. Got to sort out. Let's take these zombies down. Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on. Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it. What did bother about reading a book? Oh, I guess yeah, they'd say your life depends on it. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the hope. <laughs> bit too late, that was. Here's the path. I must say. This is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. Yeah, it's quite a lot. You think this host is going to be legit, Jesse? I just asked because 
Uh, could this be a trap. Seems to be a hope so. Uh, hey, the invitation it could be a trap. Then. I'm suspicious too, Lucas. This has trap written all over it. Unfortunately, with all these zombies Just a random exactly stick around you know, out here. Book out left outside. <laughs> suspicious. And say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh yeah. We need to stick together. You're not so taking so You're on. Um, let's have a you race. Go on then. The same place you got that haircut because they're both awful. Let's have a race. I think okay, we can handle right, ourselves. You work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse. <clears throat> right, let's try and beat Petra then. <laughs> Might as well make a bit of fun out of it. <laughs> sure, we can handle ourselves. We are the new order of the stone, after all. <laughs> Even though I think it's always best to stick together rather than splitting up, but you know I think these guys can we can all handle ourselves. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh, nice! Uh, dodging obstacles, okay. Woo woo! -woo. <laughs> dodging zombies, basically. Zombie dodge. Ivor. Oh dear. It's like I've got to save you. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. No wonder the exact same thing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, nice. Thanks, Ivor. Probably gonna slow us down now. Yeah. And the spiders and all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall. Oh dear. Let's uh, let's not go down the waterfall. <laughs> swim, swim, swim. Oh no. Whoa! Grab on. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Don't want any zombies landing on this. I reckon uh, Petra and Lucas are going to beat us there. They're just literally just walking off the edge of things. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, and we got skeletons now. Roll. Duck and roll. Oh, nice. Whoa. Triple kill. <laughs> Triple mid-air kill as well. Extra points for that. <laughs> Execute maneuver 66. Stairs. Stairs. <laughs> Nice. I like that. Maneuver 66. Right, looks like we're uh, made it to the mansion then. Do we just walk through the main doors, I'm guessing? <laughs> Woo! Nailed it! Okay, okay. Oh, we actually won. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much. <laughs> Oh, we've got zombies outside there completely as well. A no -go. <sighs> Stick with me, guys. Ooh, dodging. Dodging and weaving. <laughs> Playing Frogger with zombies. Ooh. 
What'd you see? You just gasped. Uh, run out of, I think I saw like a, a, a creepy guy in the a creepy guy in the window. He was some creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin. White pumpkin. No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great. There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? Uh, ooh, through the window, there. obviously. <laughs> should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees, we can cut those down. Good plan. Let's get punching the trees. <laughs> and up we go. My inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. <laughs> Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Punch. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. <laughs> sure he'll find it in his um, to forgive he probably us. would mind. Well, you know. Ooh. Okay, so we're inside. Wow. Some kitchen. We're in a kitchen. Oh, we got a picture of a creep on the wall. It looks like it was in a chef's outfit. I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't. Sparkles. <laughs> Ah, no, who's come in? And we have Captain uh, Sparkles the... and hey. Talk Dog. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. And this is your house, right? <laughs> if it is, we've all been uh, we got an invite too. We're not, you're, we're not the host. It's Isn't rude. this your uh, We got an invite too. We got one of these invitations too. What the heck is going on here? Darn. Sorry for the language. That wasn't about you getting an invitation. Just that I was hoping you could explain things. This is Torque Dog. Sir. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? <laughs> I've got uh, like nine million. Dollars. I don't know, awesome to meet you. Weird Sparkles? names. Uh, let's say awesome say to that, meet you because um up. let's put, let's kind of respect. pretend we know who they are. <laughs> or something like that. It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. John. I think they don't know who they are. They're just saying, "Awesome that's to meet a you." Girl's name. Oh, it's rude. <laughs> what are you guys anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That ah, was good hilarious. one. Uh, you're the loser. We're we're big. Ah, good one. Ah, that's a good one. You you are very funny, talk uh, dog. Uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. <laughs> Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some sick snackage, and bounce, you know? But uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever. Uh, ooh, Just how many are there? Is there the one here? <laughs> Can we work together? How many? Hey, so um, much. Let's put how many are here. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us, seven. Mm-hmm. Most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <sighs> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. Good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons. Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? You from like? Out of town or something. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Did you hear that? Doc. Die for cover. Uh, die for cover. Everyone die for cover. Oh, no. Been poisoned. Hey. Poison Jesse. arrows. Jesse, come here. You've got it. A girl's name. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear. Last words. And he's gone. Uh, Who knew? Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on uh, his inventory would be Ivor. Not uh, that poor guy? <laughs> that poor guy. That's so awful. Yeah. He uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. That's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, is everywhere. How did that? Who? One minute he's alive, the next gone. Poof. Um. 
Pull yourself Marcos, together. I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Ooh. You're right. <laughs> Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is why is this happening? Right, let's have a look then. So we've got some stuff. Uh right, we've got a load of stuff here. Just inventory or we've got How arrows. Do we do this? So, hmm. Yeah. Let's uh let's see that one these adventure dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. <gasps> Whoa. Uh okay. There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Jesse! Have you figured anything out yet? Yeah, let's have a look. So if we just have a look at the arrow then. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> Sniffs the arrow. Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Uh, what kind of about this? Potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Uh, Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? I don't know. What kind of arrow? Back up. What did you say that was? Uh, tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. <laughs> I love the references. Like, to, my, right to like, the game. <laughs> To Minecraft. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Right. Okay. So we have. Okay in here? Whoa! The crowd. I uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. We have someone new. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Oh, that's not possible. Uh, you recognize yes. us? Uh, what? You recognize us? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um. Okay. Lucy, and someone else? Did you steal all <laughs> these new. Oh, you got them with you. So, yes, <sighs> as you can see, we have. Famous YouTubers, well, well-known, very, very well-known YouTubers the in the here. People already here then poof, you guys. Minecraft Whoa, YouTubers as well, to be specific, of course. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. <laughs> well, not perfect. <laughs> Look at the size of his Actually, nose in the picture. Perfect. <laughs> Must have been when we showed up. Someone's up to something. Uh, who could have done this? Well this is so creepy. Uh, Some of someone's us. up to Somebody's something. Up I think. To something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Yeah, oh, he's got an X on him, like signifying that he's dead. And of course, we have yet. some Can't more. The big news. Me neither. And I'm sure you recognise everyone. If you are fans of Minecraft and Minecraft YouTubers. Ooh, I hope there's cake. <laughs> and that one, of course, being Stampy. On, <laughs> hope there's cake, the first line. <laughs> so, yeah, this is pretty cool. We've got uh, well-known YouTubers in here. Here, let me introduce you all properly. There we go. If you don't know, Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. Dan oh, TDM. Did your <laughs> hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all. <laughs> what did his hair change? It's always changing color. Their names Bit of a running Jesse, joke there. Petra, Lucas and Ivor. You said there was news. Is it good? Good news? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, Torque Dog? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth? Uh, show, them the uh, show them the arrow. Look into it. Show them the arrow. These are what got him. Tipped arrow? 
Rose, does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So what happened? Just to like that. Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa! Come on, everyone! Come on! Uh, that's pretty cool. Ready. Why do you just, care? It. I want to know. Uh, what it disappeared. The stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? What aren't what? you saying? No. You think he deserved it? The invitation about. to prove otherwise. Uh... Um... What aren't you there saying? something you're not telling me, Lizzie? Uh, no, sorry, that came out wrong. You know what? Forget I said anything. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Han's right. Whoever's <laughs> doing this, they could be hunting us. Leave, yeah, hunting this, uh, us? We, can work, we are not. Hey, we on, can work together. Yeah. There's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> Inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yep. Wow. <laughs> oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. Mm, they're all the more I grouping think together. It, the more I think that there's talking something in secret. These people mm -hmm. really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's let's going on. Let's gain their trust. What makes you so nice sort of detective time? Um, let's gain their trust, I think. Until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Let's get investigating then. Okay. Let's investigate, but we shall do that next time, guys. Because <laughs> yes, it looks like we have reached the end of this video of, I guess, part one of episode six. So uh, yes, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this so far. This is really, really exciting. Um, yeah, like I said, you probably knew if you've seen any story mode or heard about it. You probably knew kind of. The general gist of what was happening in this episode, um, which of course features, um, you know, basically uh, famous YouTubers, <laughs> famous Minecraft YouTubers, as we've seen in there, and they all obviously did the, the voices for them. And to be fair, all of them are pretty good, but I have to say, Captain Sparkles, I think, is the has done probably the best job. He's, I think he's just a natural, so you know. He, it could actually uh, go on to do other animations or voice acting or whatever. That would be pretty cool to see, actually. But yeah, he's definitely, definitely, definitely the. I'd say he's, he's the one who's nailed it properly. But everyone else is good. <laughs> so guys, then, um, yeah, let's end this video then, and uh, do join me next time in, um, you know, continuing episode six and finding out what has happened in this strange, creepy mansion with some random white pumpkin head person. <laughs> uh, but yes, do hit that like button, guys, if you have enjoyed this video to show your support. And if you are new, do hit that subscribe button as well so you can see all upcoming videos from me. But I'm going to say bye-bye for now, and until next time, I will see you all later.